For this tutorial, you will see how to navigate your way through your SketchUp interface and set up your space to begin drawing with a few changes to your preferences in the program. Getting started here in front of us, we have our open space, and this is considered a modeling window. The menu bar, as mentioned, is found at the top of your screen where we have file, edit, view, and so forth. This menu bar is where you access commands, tools, and settings from any other features in the program. Underneath is found your getting started toolbar set. Other toolbars can be accessed by going over to where we have view and we're going to select toolbars. The, obviously the program default is that getting started, but it is recommended to have your large tool set open when you begin to work in SketchUp. Found at the bottom of the left corner is your status bar. The status bar is kind of referred to as your command center. This is where you will see the tool or command you're currently using and what to do with it. When we are adding different elements to our drawings in our modeling space, we may need to access property palettes. This is considered in the program to be our dialog bar. To access our dialog bar, we will simply go over to window and select our default tray. Now for many of us, we can select by having check box all of the different boxes that we want to have. However, one way to do this is to show your tray. And when we have that tray shown, then we can scroll through and select and turn on and off any other trays that may be needed at the moment or may not need it. Before you begin to work in SketchUp, it is recommended that we set our preferences as well. To access our preferences, again, we will go over to where it says Windows in the menu bar and scroll down to preferences. For Mac users, you will look under where it says SketchUp and then go to your preferences there. Once you're inside of your preferences, you want to have your general option available and we're looking at where it says saving. Be sure that create backup and auto save both are checked. You can also change here how often you want your saving, saving time to take place. The default set is five minutes, and this is meaning that should the system crash, you will have all of your work saved up into the last five minutes. The default is to have automatically fixed problems when they're found checked, but I recommend that you also have notify me when my problems are fixed. And whenever those software updates are available, you want to make sure that the system is allowing for checking for the updates so that you are up to the current date with any of the software changes. Once these preferences are set and you select OK, you're now beginning, you're ready to begin working in your space. This orbit tool that is found here, once selected, you can kind of move your screen around by holding down your left mouse and you can see that this is your 3D space. The person that is brought into the program as a default sometimes is a man as found on the 22 version but other versions you may see a woman. You will see that if we kind of move around this person is flat and is not 3D. He has no thickness, so he contains no substance. So he is our 2D person in our 3D modeling space. Before you begin to work and be draw and draft in your Google SketchUp, I recommend that you go over with your mouse each of the icons and hovering over them to see what these icons are and how to use them. 
being sure to click on any of the drop downs so that you can see the added commands or tools that are attached to each of the different icons.